Hey, beautiful teachers. So you've put out a flyer, you've posted an ad on a local message board, you've been asking everyone you know, and crickets. No one seems to want to start music lessons. What is going on? How can you market your music lessons more effectively and fill all those empty spots in your timetable? If we haven't met yet, my name is Nicola Canton and I run a studio over in Dublin in Ireland with three other teachers working for me and we consistently have a waiting list that's as long as our student roster. In this video, I'll share with you what's working for marketing music lessons in 2021 and where all those students on my waiting list are coming from. None of these strategies are expensive or overly technical. I promise you that. It's just a matter of putting in the time, putting in the effort, and putting it in the right places. First of all, you need to have a studio website. It's 2021, it's time. This is the number one way that I get student inquiries that are not referrals. I'm giving you the answer right at the start of this video. If you don't already have a website, get one right now. If you do have a website, make sure it has all of these things. A clear message real photos of you and your students. Enough text, not walls and walls of text, but enough of it that Google can actually tell what your site is about and people have something to read. A clear and simple menu. Don't make it complicated. There's no reason to have more than say four or five items in your menu. A big, big flashing button, doesn't have to be actually flashing, telling people what to do and where to go. It should say something like, enroll in lessons, join the waiting list, or some other equally strong call to action. And in terms of the design, it should have a maximum of two fonts and two colors. I don't want to see any more than that. Sure, there's other colors in your photos, but for your actual content, for the words, and the buttons and all of that stuff, please just two colors and two fonts in just a couple of sizes. The simpler you keep it, the more likely it is to look clean and modern and fresh. Item number two, right alongside your website, I would recommend you set up Google My Business. Now this can be a bit sticky because for some they don't wanna list their address, you still can set up Google My Business even if you don't put your address on there and I understand why you wouldn't want to, but it is even more beneficial if you can list it, so weigh up the pros and cons for you. If you do set up Google My Business, especially with an address, you're way more likely to show up when I search for local things like piano lessons, your town. Those first few items in most Googles actually are Google My Business results. Those are the ones that look like they're on a map. That's how you get in there and you need to get your studio listed. As for other methods, some of them will work and some of them won't. But here's the thing, if you don't track them, you won't know which ones were which. Please, 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 if you're trying flyers, posters, paid ads, things in local schools, anything at all, anything you try, track it. It's as simple in most cases as noting how much time you spent setting that thing up, how much money you spent on it, and then the number of inquiries you got from there who said they heard about you that way. They may have heard about you somewhere else as well, but that's the simplest way to track it is just ask people, where did they hear about you? And if that's the answer, it's a good indicator that that was an important factor in them signing up for lessons. What? How is that marketing advice? Well, the thing is, most studios survive on referrals. And I left this for last on purpose because when people ask in Facebook groups or on forums or anywhere else, oh, how do you get more students? I'm just getting started and I really need some help finding more students. Loads of very well-meaning, more experienced teachers will jump on and say, it's all referrals for me. And while they mean to be helpful, and that is the truth, they do get mostly referral students, students who tell other students and that's how they find out about them. That's not how helpful for someone who's looking for marketing their music lessons because you can't magic referrals out of thin air. But over time, 
The secret to referrals is just being a great teacher. It's being the right teacher for the students you have or seeking out the right students for your style of teaching. So there's that awesome fit between you and your students. You provide the best possible service you can for them, not going on their every whim, but providing a great service for them that suits their needs. And over time, you will build up that referral base. You can absolutely ask for referrals when you need them. You can incentivize them as well. But the main thing about referrals is just being a wonderful teacher and sticking with it. In the meantime, make sure you have that site. Make sure you have Google My Business and try some other stuff and test and track it and do more of what works and less of what doesn't. If you have more marketing tips, please leave them in the comments below or follow-up questions for me are also welcome. And if you thought this video was helpful, please hit that like button before you head along on your way.